First, like to know uh, what is your film, and tell me a little bit about your film. Well, my film is a documentary on Zé Pedro. Zé Pedro is he was probably the most famous rock and roll star in Portugal. Uh, he was the 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 guitar the guitar player of Chutos and Pontepés, which is like the biggest rock band in Portugal. They've been here since the late 70s i don't know therefore therefore the portuguese audience the same i i guess we could say that they're like the portuguese rolling stones or something like that because okay. you know? <laughs> <laughs> they've been here forever uh since since we almost since we came out of the dictatorship that we had uh because we lived in a fascist regime for a long time and we didn't have access to a lot of the music that was being made outside of Portugal and a lot of stuff. So somehow they were uh, in the beginning of all that bloom that came with liberty and with uh, free, free, of free speech and all of that that we rega regain after, after the revolution. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, I, uh, a couple of starter questions here. Uh, how long <laughs> did it take you to actually film your film this movie, or uh, collate all the different footage that you had in the film? Uh, well, it was something that took me like probably around one year and a half. Okay. Okay. Uh, because I was I was uh, very well uh, informed about the subject. I was a friend of Zé Pedro. Oh. So, um, and I knew him since I was a kid. Uh, so uh, I knew what, what, uh, what archives to look into. And somehow I had my, 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 my job was, uh, was easier than, than it normally is because I was very equated to, the, to all, all, all of what I wanted to, to say in the film. So that brings up a good question. You have a very uh, uh, a personal relationship with your subject. Was it uh, easier or harder to try to figure out what to put in the film versus what not to put in the film? Well, it's like a, it goes both ways because uh, uh, it was easier because I really knew what I was documenting. Uh, I knew the story. Uh, I, I was I know him since the beginning of the band, so uh, that, that helped. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it could be difficult because it did give me the distance that sometimes you need to have with the subject, so that you don't feel obligated to go through one path or the other it's 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 easier when you don't have that kind of relationship i, I think well that happened with me in other films and i didn't where i didn't have that that proximity with the subject uh and somehow it, i felt freer <laughs> i felt that i was more free than normally in this situation so uh, uh, with with this project, was this um, a more well? Is it was it more difficult because you knew the subject, or was it uh, easier based on your other films since you've done other films? I don't know. All films are difficult to make. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no easy <laughs> film. <laughs> They're all difficult to make. It's uh, and I, I didn't. I didn't feel that it was easy. Actually, this film was very hard for me to, 
especially, especially the editing part, because uh, uh, I was in the States almost during all the, the editing part and my editor was in Portugal and we were oh. editing at the distance and through Skype and all that. And it was a brand new project for me, a brand new way of working. And fortunately, now with all this pandemic situation, it became the new normal, but back then it wasn't. <laughs> and, I, and I had to adapt very fast to it. And it, it, wasn't, it wasn't an easy project and an easy task to, to do, but, but I think it turned out okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with the, I'm, I'm very happy with the result. <laughs> Oh well, has it been has it been received well at other film festivals? Uh, have you been in a lot, or are you just starting your festival uh, tour? No, it's, I think we would be probably almost ending because uh, the, the the film opened on uh, on the end of two thousand and nineteen. It opened in, oh. on Doc Lisboa, which is probably one of the best documentary festivals in Europe. And it won the Audience Award that year, which was very good. And I, I was very happy about it. I, I think it was mainly because of Ze Pedro more than the film, because he had so much, he had a huge amount of fans, uh, me included. <laughs> so, uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been doing a lot of festivals and it won some prizes, uh, some prizes also, I think eight or nine and nominations and all that. It, it's been, it's been doing a good, a good festival career. Yeah. I would good. say that. I like to hear more, that. more, I have to say more than what I actually was expecting because I, I thought that this film would be more for us from, for Portuguese, for a Portuguese audience more than an international uh, subject. But I guess that people like the idea of getting to know what, what could be, or what, it, what is the, the, the Portuguese rock scene or what Sir Pedro was for, for Portugal. I, I wasn't expect, I, I have to be honest, I wasn't expecting to, to be this well received in the, in the festivals like, like what happened so far? Well, I can tell you this. The uh, reason why we decided to screen it is my staff and I decided to screen it as part of our top three films of the festival uh, is because even though the film takes place uh, in Portugal and none of us knew who he was before seeing the film, your film has a way of, I, I don't want to say creating a character, but, 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 but going through his life and creating this guy that we can all see in our own uh, rock stars here in the U.S. Um, and I think if it had just focused on just the music, it probably would have tuned some of us out. But yeah. because you focused on his life and everything else, it became kind of a universal story, despite being someone that none of us knew before watching the film. <laughs> well, thank you. For, for me, that's a great, uh, a great thing to hear, because that, that was the... That was actually one of the main uh, reasons to do the documentary about him. It was that getting to, so that people could understand why he was like he was. What, what happened for him to become a rock star? What, what, what was his background? And if you say that that worked, it's a very good compliment for me. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, and that was a funny thing because I forgot um, when I was watching, no, well, I forgot you know, how I how I came across the film to begin with. Uh, but uh, when I was watching it, and your footage is like when he's really young and when he's really older, you got a sense of his entire life in that film, and that's something that you don't always get in a lot of films because uh, and, and the ones I've seen, anyways, at film festivals. Because uh, I can't say all the films; I've never seen all the films I think. But the ones I've been able to watch at film festivals. Um, the thing is that a lot of it does either use a, uh, all of this archive footage of the times when that person was popular, instead of using the stuff like you do with when they're younger, you see some of the family life with them, and then of course you see them as older, and it, it kind of brings the whole character together, and that's what I like about it. Oh, thank you. That, that, that was the aim, yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, but a lot I, of work put into that. A lot of hours uh, looking in the archives, and 
Yeah, that's it's crazy. Just, I can't believe. I, I yeah, I can't believe. I have. I couldn't even fathom how much footage it took you to go through to get to what you did. <laughs> hours and hours and hours, and it's a very lonely process because oh, it uh, is. You have I'm, to be close in like a small box with a small monitor and dark ambience. It's 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 crazy, but it's it's. I like that part of the of the job too to really focus on that preparation for the film on 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 on, on spending that amount of work uh doing the research and uh, I like I like that part. <laughs> uh so uh has has the film um seen a lot of play in the US uh or has it you know or has it been kind of it's every, been all it's been all around. The, the it won it won already some prizes in the states. In, in uh, that that was good. Uh, but it's been also in uh, it won prizes in in uh, Uruguay. Uh, it's okay. been in uh, Buenos Aires. It's been Turkey. <laughs> I know <laughs> a lot a lot of places. It's been traveling very well, and and it, and it also op here in Portugal. It had uh, commercial distribution in in theaters. Oh, excellent! Uh, and and, uh, and now it's on pay TV also, and uh, so it's doing well. Yeah. I know. Whether you say your films at, at the end of its festival run, you've got it on, <laughs> you've got it on pay TV and you've got a distributor. So yeah, now it's time to work on the next project. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm editing the new film. I'm okay. already working on that. Yeah. Is it yeah. a shorter feature? Can I ask? Are you still working it, that out? It, no, it, it's a it's a feature documentary, but it it, it has to do with uh, it's about the the old neighborhoods of uh, Lisbon, like the, hmm. the the historical neighborhoods of Lisbon, and 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 how they're changing with all this uh, tourism and with the COVID situation and. Uh, what's changing inside of those old neighborhoods where the locals used to live and now you have a different kind of uh, people living and they have to adapt. It's about that. Uh, so uh, just a curious curiosity, did this, uh, is this a, a project that you saw that you wanted to do or did it come, did someone bring it to you to do? Now all, all, all my projects uh, so far and I hope to continue like that, it's projects that I want to do. That uh, they, uh, it comes from the scratch. <laughs> so it's uh, all of them, all of them. Oh, wow. Same with this one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so, what 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 type of subject do you uh, prefer? Do you like to do uh, subjects on like uh, social issues or uh, actual um, people or? So so far, I've been I've been very well. on my own films. I've been always connected with music, uh, either fado, which is the traditional uh, Lisbon music, like the Spanish have the flamenco or the the Argentines have the tango. We have the fado. Uh, you guys have the jazz and the blues. <laughs> um, and. Um, and I did one on tango also in Buenos Aires, and this is the first one I did on rock and roll. As a director, I've been somehow related to music. Uh, and this one is more related to, well, to, to the social environment of, of what I'm seeing, the transformation that I've witnessing in, 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 in these old quarters of Lisbon. Uh, but somehow the music is still there because <laughs> <laughs> Fado is, is the, also part of that, of those quarters, of those neighborhoods. Uh, as, as, a producer, as a producer, I've been working with, with fiction and, and, and other kinds of uh, films. And, and the, the only fiction film I've done, it's a musical. So <laughs> and, uh, it's not out yet. Too. It's not um, out yet. It's still there, getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> still working. On, are you are you still working on that one, or is that one done and you're just trying to get it out there? <laughs> uh, we're we're still working on it. It's it's not quite quite well done. It's not quite done yet, but it's 
Almost. It's a musical. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's, uh, it's, and it's a feature film, so it's, it's, uh, it's crazy, <laughs> to say the least. So uh, do you prefer nonfiction to fiction or narrative work, or do you not have a preference? I don't, I don't think I have a preference. Uh, I've been doing more documentary because it's easier for me to fund it. And it's, it's impossible to do films without money. We know that. So, uh, and it's been easier for me to get funded for the documentaries than, than to do fiction. Uh, I don't know, mainly, Maybe because I have more documentaries made, and so it's easier for me to get to certain uh, certain places and get funded than than if I was doing fiction. I don't know. I've tried. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm always trying. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got the musical. The, you got you got the musical, which is probably why uh, you got that one though, because it has music in it, and everyone's seen, <laughs> done so many music-based nonfiction films. I can see it. Yeah, maybe. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, um, <laughs> oh my God. So I already know what's up next with you. I mean, but uh, uh, I'm just curious to, to, to figure out um, are you going to take any time in between these projects or is there a passion project that you want to do? Or are you just kind of going with the flow? I'm, I'm always trying to to make uh, films and projects, if not mine, other people's. I'm all here in the in our production company. We're closing a, a short film. It's almost ready. We're just giving the final retouches in, in the color, uh, and we're starting the pre-production of another short film. Okay. And so we're all. I'm involved in a lot of things as much as I can or uh, at least as much as I can try to to, to fund and, and, and make it work. So uh, I don't want to stop in between. <laughs> you know, I, I want to keep oh, I moving. Understand. <laughs> I understand perfectly. I, I, I mean, I've got multiple, uh, my hands in multiple pots as well. There are projects where I'm writing them and I'm not directing or uh, producing them. There's projects where I'm producing that I didn't write. And then there's stuff that I'm directing and I post both written and I'm producing. So I understand perfectly. Which role do you prefer? <laughs> Actually, I like both. What I don't really like is to do both at the same time. <laughs> but you're like me. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like doing everything at the same time either. <laughs> yeah, well, oh. I, I, I like directing and I like, I, like, I like to produce. I really like to produce also, which is... Uh, uh, which is not normal to, to find directors that like to produce also. I, I like to produce. It's yeah, something that gives here. me joy to to be part of the team that makes a film happen that, that, and, and get the means necessary for a director to, to, to bring his idea to life. Uh, uh, that's something that gives me great joy. <laughs> that's something me and you have in common. I actually... I actually enjoy watching uh, people who are better at, better at their job than I am to do their job. So I've produced a couple of shorts myself, just kind of getting my feet wet with doing other people's stuff because I've been doing my own stuff for so long that I find it – actually, it's a completely different mindset, but I, I find it very invigorating to be producing someone else's script have been hiring another director to come in and I'm just bringing all the elements together to make the director happy more or less um that's that that, that right there I'm like you and like really enjoy doing that and then when I'm directing I don't want to do anything else I really do. I know <laughs> yeah I want to focus on that yes. <laughs> directing takes so much time I, I I did one feature actually my first feature is the only one I, I wrote produced and directed myself and I had a co-producer but well, my God, was that? Whoo! I don't know if I can do that again. Do all of it? I uh, yeah. yeah. But I write and produce, but I don't like to write, produce, and direct. So I, I hear you there. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's that. That's good. That's good. Uh, is there anything you want the audience to know about your film? 
um, in regards to when they view it because uh, hopefully, you know, you'll be able to use this as marketing and I'm using this marketing and I hope that your film sees more film festivals even though it's at the end of its run. But I really want people to be able to get uh, your impression as a filmmaker from your film. Do you have anything you want to tell them about it? Yeah, well, uh, it's 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 a film about uh, a very special guy. Uh, is a rock star, but it's like a Portuguese rock star. But it's what he said. It, it could be a, a Chilean rock star, a Russian rock star, an American rock. Star. It could be a rock star anywhere in the world. I think the process would be almost the same every everywhere you, you wherever you are from. Uh, so, uh, but it, but he is, he was really a, a very easy guy, uh, which is not normal in such stars, you know, like, cause I think the, the biggest secret, uh, of Zé Pedro or, or the secret of his success is that he never lost the, the capacity of being a fan himself, you know, because he, he, he was a fan himself of his idols and he never lost that. So he understand his fans very well. I think part of, of the way that he was loved by all the audience, it had to do with that. Uh, and I think you can see that in the film, which is nice. Well, uh, I want to congratulate the film and you for winning one of our awards. I thank you so much for the award. My my judge and jury, which you met, uh, Philip. He's he's a festival judge. Knows more about that than I do. I just get to <laughs> pick the top three that we screen. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was a pleasure to to be a part of the festival, and I'm very happy for the recognition that you guys gave us. Uh, and thank you for that. And uh, well, keep up the good work. I, uh, uh, and I hope to have other films in your festival in the future. Uh, <laughs> Let's work for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's definitely work for that. I look forward to that. So thank you so much for being part of our show, uh, an interview with, and uh, I wish you, wish you and your film nothing but more luck. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to see it uh, here. So, oh, that reminds me um, when you, if you have any links or anything that will help promote your film, make sure to just send them to us and we'll make sure to, uh, to, to post them on our site and get the word out about your film, where, where people can watch it, where people can buy it, that, that, that sort of thing. Thank you so much, Kevin. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>